What's going on guys? It's the One Round Rego here and today as you can see we're here with the Seto Kaiba Structure Deck. Now this one released semi-recently, about maybe a few months ago now. It released alongside the Yugi Structure Deck and it's kind of a revamp of the original one but changed to be more competitive. This one can actually be decently viable if you buy three sets of it. You can actually build a semi-playable deck and do decent with it. It's not like tier one, not something crazy, but it can work. So if you're getting back into it or you're new to the game, buy three of these and you have a deck that can run. So let's get into what's on the back here. And as you can see, I'm recording horizontal again. I was told that this is better to record from. It looked the best, so I'm probably going to stick with this. So let me zoom in for you guys here, see if you guys can see that. Here's all the back. I'll read it off for you. In his final duel against Yugi in the Battle City Tournament, Kaiba showed off brand new deck using his XYZ Union Monsters, machines that could equip onto each other and combine into more powerful fusion monsters. This structure deck adds the new ABC Union Monsters, plus new fusions to the A to Z Dragon Buster Cannon to combine everything into one colossal monster. This structure deck includes 40 common cards, 2 ultra rare cards, Three super rare cards, one beginner's guide, and one double-sided deluxe game mat slash dueling guide with tips to bring you to victory. And as you can see, they have some of the cards right here. I got a picture of the big boss monster up here. And I'm not going to read off all the monsters and traps and stuff here because we're going to show those off in the deck anyway. So let's get into this right now. I'm really hyped to open this because as I've said before I'm the tan skin Kaiba. I'm the Puerto Rican Kaiba. If it has blue eyes on the cover I'm on top of it. I want it. And you can never have too many blue eyes. You really can't. So let me crack this open here. Mm, this one's being tough. Where's my knife? Alright so we got this open. Let's slide it out here and show you what we're working with. So let's set this box to the side here. And of course we have the little beginner's guide here. And it'll tells you little strategies, tips and tricks about stuff you have in the deck, you know, different combos you can make, different things you can do. And there's several combos within the deck, so it's kinda of teach you oh how uh, and also how to attack, how to defend, how to uh, change battle positions, flip summon, all the little stuff you need to learn how to play the game if you're not really sure how to, how to synchro summon, exceed summon. Fusion Summon, all that's in here. So if you're getting new into the game, this is a good thing to pick up. Just so you can pick up uh, how to play the game pretty easily. And here's a pretty plastic. Let's set that off to the side. And here we have the uh, little beginner's guide slash the actual double-sided uh, little mat. So let me open this up and show it off to you guys. That looks pretty nice. Got blue eyes on one side and is... Uh, a to Z Dragon Buster Cannon on the other side, and with Kaiba right in the middle, and I guess this looks pretty nice. And see, it's got the Pendulum Zone, Extra Deck Zone, Field Zone, all that good stuff. And as you can probably see, I'm using one of my old Yu-Gi-Oh mats here now. This one's Shooting Star Dragon from the uh, Star Strike Blast uh, Sneak Peek. I got this a way long ago. I have a few other mats here too, so I might show those off later. I've had them sitting around for a while, so I decided to use them, so I'm getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! anyway. And I was so glad to find I still had the Stardust, uh, Shooting Star Dragon mat. It's beautiful. But, let's get into the actual deck. And right on the front, we can see the A to Z Dragon Buster Cannon. Set that up. Can I, can I stand? Can I stand? Oh, okay. And I believe this is one of the, um, this is one of the two Ultra Rare cards right there. Nice and pretty. So let me uh, take the little plastic off this. And I'll probably slide at least the fancy cards into sleeves real quick. Let me grab those first. And I'll set a few right here. So all the pretty, pretty cards. Let's see if I can bust through this plastic. I can't find the opening. There we go. So let's tear that off. Can I get any more? No? Okay, so let's tear off the plastic carefully now. Careful, careful, not being careful enough. Come on. Ral and Raiko defeated by plastic on Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Who would have thought? Come on now. There we go. I'm sorry. I can't do things today. So here we go. We have A to Z Dragon Buster Cannon. It's made by ABC Dragon Buster and XYZ Dragon Cannon. Must be special summoned from your extra deck by vanishing cards you control with the uh, uh, above original names. 
and cannot be special summoned any other ways. You do not use Polymerization. During either player's turn, when your opponent activates a spell or trap card or monster effect, you can discard one card and negate the activation. If you do, destroy that card. During either player's turn, you can banish this card, then target one target one each of your banished ABC Dragon Buster uh, uh, ABC Dragon Buster and XYZ Dragon Cannon and special summon them. So it's kinda like contact fusion, you fuse them, and then you can get rid of this card to bring those back. It's kind of cool. I'm not going to read every card effects because there's way too many in here. I'm just going to read the main ones that are important. So let me sleeve this up real quick. This is a pretty, pretty card. Look at that. Look at that shine in the light. Beautiful. So I'll slide that and I'll set him to the side. And then we have ABC Dragon Buster. Made from A Assault Core, B Buster Drake, and C Crush Wyvern. Must be special summoned from your extra deck by banishing the above cards you control and or from your graveyard. Don't use polymerization. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can discard this card and then target one card on the field and banish it. During your opponent's turn, you can tribute this card, target three of the banished light machine mon union monsters with different names, special summon to this field. A special summon them. This is a quick effect, so you can uh, take this one apart to summon the materials again, as always. So like you combine them and you take them apart. It's cool. I like that. So I'll slide this into a sleeve. Slide that down here. And then we have the little pieces of the uh, machines here. We have A Assault Core, B Buster Drake, and C Crush Wyvern. I'll read their effects off real quick. And these are probably going to be the last ones I read off. Once per turn, either player can target a light monster. Oh, no, let me repeat that. I'm sorry. Once per turn, you can either target one light machine monster you control and equip this card to that card to that target, or unequip this card and special summon it. A monster equipped with this card is unaffected by your opponent's monster effects except its own. As also, if the equipped monster would be destroyed by battle or card effect, destroy this card instead. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one union monster from your graveyard to your hand. So these cards like cycling themselves around. There's Buster Drake. Once per turn, target one light machine monster you control, equip this card to it, or unequip it to special summon it. If it's equipped to a monster, it negates spells, and it's the, that monster is unaffected by your opponent's spells. And if it will be destroyed by the graveyard, destroy this card instead, and it's sent from the field to the graveyard, add another union monster. So it's uh, they each negate an effect. Let's see, this one negates traps on the monster it's equipped to, and if it's destroyed, you can add another one from your graveyard. So... They like cycling themselves and protecting themselves, which is pretty cool. And makes it easy to get them all in the field to uh, contact fuse for them. So let me slide these in sleeves as well. Nice and shiny, shiny, pretty cards. And I'll set up. Oh, need one more sleeve. Ah, Buster Drake. I like this Buster Drake one specifically. Like it, just, it looks like a dragon. I like it. It's nice and pretty. And I'll quickly run through the rest of the cards. I'm not going to read all their effects because we'll be here all day, all night. Uh-oh. Okay, let me grab this back. All right, so we have Heavy Mech Support Armor. Uh, X Head Cannon, the OGs. Y Dragon Head. Z Metal Tank. Heavy Mech Support Platform. Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's a shame it's in a common, but look at that art. Blue Eyes overseeing the earth, charging his white lightning. It may be a common, but boy is it beautiful. And of course there's a Blue Eyes in the deck. You can't have a Kyber deck without having at least one Blue Eyes in it. That's beautiful. I wish it was hollow, but he's not the main one of the deck, I suppose. So that's probably why he's just a common. Then we got Kazer Glider. Lord D. Vampire Lord. Enraged Battle Ox. Death's Feral Imp. Petting the Dark Clown. Oh god, this card's stupid. Another Petting the Dark Clown. Boy, do we love clowns. I am not even going to tempt that name. Interplanetary Purply Thorny Dragon. I have no idea what that name's supposed to be, but... Fancy Purple Interplanetary Dragon thing. Yeah, woo. Then we have Blizzard Dragon, Keeper of the Shrine, Luster Dragon, Union Hanger, 
Majesty with Eyes of Blue, Burst Dream Destruction, Flute of Summoning Dragon, Silent Doom, Shrink, Enemy Controller, Enter the Code, Up, Down, A, B. This card's always going to be viable. Maybe it's not super meta anymore, but you can never go wrong with having it. Megamorph, Limiter Removal, Frontline Base, Union Scramble, Crush Card Virus, one of Kaiba's crazy cards, one of another signature Kaiba card, Negate Attack. Always came in clutch. Again, Ring of Destruction, Interdimensional Matter Transporter, Cloning, Final Attack Orders, Call the Haunted, as if this card hasn't been printed 20,000 times already. Roll out. Autobots, transform and roll out. Fiendish Chain. XYZ Dragon Cannon. With a new art, that's pretty nice. I like that new art. Now, this is one of the hollows. I'd be really excited about that. But I like the new art. Breathing life into an older card. I like that a lot. That's nice. And then they have XY Dragon Cannon, because these things can, like, can contact fuse with themselves. They don't need polymerization. And they have little mini versions of them before you get the big monster out. And then XZ Tank Cannon. So that's the deck. It's pretty, it's pretty alright. It can work pretty well if you just wanted a regular starter deck just to play around with. It's really nice. And you get this cool blue eyes. I wish it was hollow, but I'll take it. A blue eyes is a blue eyes, no matter what. We don't discriminate. Let's go over the pretty cards here. We have the new uh, addition to the XYZ thing. So we have ABZ Buster and X to Z Dragon Buster Cannon. So not as strong was the X like WXYZ Dragon Head Cannon Fortress of Doom or something that 4500 beater that's almost impossible to summon. But uh. That's pretty nice. I like the cards. Kaiba's always been one of my favorite dudes. He's just outright crazy. And he has all these different pretty, pretty cards that can do a lot. So maybe I'll actually make something out of this. Because I have the cards. Maybe if I pick up two more, I'll actually run the deck. Maybe. Because I'm building several decks right now. But that's pretty nice. I like it. I'd say pick it up if you want to get into starting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Or just beginning. Starter decks like this always help a lot. Especially in Yu-Gi-Oh, unlike Pokemon ones, Yu-Gi-Oh ones, they can either they can be pretty viable. Like the most recent one, the uh, re-release of the uh, Ancient Gears and the Dinosaurs. That dinosaur one is very viable. It can be played very well. You can pick up three and just run. And there's so many uh, expensive reprints that are put in these things. Like in the newer ones, there's Maxi Twin Twisters cards that are super expensive. You can usually get them in here cheaper when they're reprinted. So. As another bonus. So overall, I'd say this is pretty cool. I'd pick it up if I were you. And for that, I guess I'm going to end it here. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment if you like the deck, what you do with it, any combos or ideas you have with it. And subscribe for more. And I've been the one Rallin Raiko, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.